Hey guys, Jen here. I am pre-recording this candle video because it's going to do some frosting. So I want you guys to be able to see from beginning to the end and not have to be on live for like an hour. Um, so yeah. Also, if you ever get a fragrance, do you see that in the bottom? That floating around in there? This is the salted caramel. My label is like almost shot. Um, that is just the the vanilla. It started to crystallize. Don't worry about that. It's okay. Um, I've had lots of people be like, ask me what it is, you know, and I've had to explain, etc. on what it is. So, I have a wholesale order for some 16 ounce candles. Um, this is what the 16 ounce tin looks like. Uh, with our one inch wide wicks, uh, caution sticker on the bottom. Uh, she ordered me to do some frosting uh, pretty tops, um, so I thought this was a perfect time for me to make these candles and then also show you guys. So, uh, now the first ones are salted caramel. She just wants the candy sprinkles on those, so those are super easy for me to do. Um, let me find it. Alright, there it is. So, I'll, I'll do the salted caramel ones first. So, I'm going to measure out 52 ounces. I may need to add more. I'll have to see. Oh, yes. been a little while since I've done some big candles. Um, I've been doing mostly 8 ounce sizes because that's what sells for me. Okay, I'm going to check my temperature. We're a little warm. We're at 193. So I'm going to color this and I'm going to use our brown this is red brown and just put like two drops shaking it and I squeeze the bulb a couple times to make sure whatever was in the bulb comes out there's two drops of brown now check her temperature again. Still about 190. 189. The temperature comes down fairly quickly. I'm just going to start just a second and then I'll check the temperature again. We want 185. I'm going to turn my temperature down on my melter just a smidgen since I know we're okay. All right. It was at 187, so by the time I get it up here and get my fragrance and all that good stuff, um, this is an old scale and it's a little bit finicky sometimes. I'm doing 9%, which is 4.68 to be exact. Or you can do 4.65, or you can do 4.7. This scale actually measures the small numbers, so that was 4.69. <laughs> so we're going to stir. I know you guys can't see down in here, but it's okay. So let's see what our temperature is now that I've added fragrance. Yeah, we're at 165. See, it dropped quite a bit. 
All right, so I'm going to just pour these first five back here. Now these ones from SKS don't have a line, so I kind of pour them a little shallow, and then I'll go back and finish filling them. If you notice, the tin does not have a line, oops, like our 8 ounce. Well, that's going to have to be cleaned up. I splashed. It's okay. one. Okay. Now I kind of go back, kind of make sure they're all about the same. And they are. All right. Now I'm going to pause you guys, going to rinse this back out and I'll bring you back when I start on these. All right. So we're back to start. I'm going to do pumpkin spice next. Now, with the pumpkin spice, I'm going to measure out the full amount and fragrance it. Then I'll separate some out for the frosting. Or too much back. Okay, I think that's good. Let me check my temperature. I take it off that little scale because, like I said, that little scale is a little finicky. So I take it off. All right, I'm not going to color anything yet. We're just going to stir it. So our pumpkin, I'm going to do brown and red, kind of give it like a spicy color. But the frosting I want uh, white, so. Okay, I need to add a little bit more wax to my pot, so I'll do that while I'm waiting. I know you guys can't really see what I'm doing, but. We're worried about frosting in this video. I have just a little tiny cup that I use to scoop my wax with. And, and when I mean little, I mean it's little. It's just a little cup. <laughs> It would go faster if I had a bigger one, but you know. That should be good for now. Let me check my temperature. Okay. We're okay. Turn my scale on. Tear it out. Let's add our fragrance. Four point six eight. Four point six nine again. I have a magic number there. Now, so each candle holds just over 10 ounces of wax. So, well, it holds about 12, right around 12. So we have 52 ounces of wax, and then you add uh, six ounces, six and a half ounces, you could say, of fragrance. Um, so that's 58 and a half, almost 59 ounces. <clears throat> so 
and they all hold around close to 12 ounces. I'm going to subtract about one ounce of fragrance for every candle. We'll use the one ounce for our frosting. So, I'm going to put, I don't want to put it in the glass container because it sets up fairly quickly. So we're going to pour out about five ounces. You can do as little or as much as you want. Well, we're going to do more. More like 10 ounces. Grab this for my drippies. Alright. Clean up my drips. So I've got 10 ounces here in this little container that's already fragranced. I'm just going to, actually I'm going to put it in the microwave to keep it fairly warm. It'll kind of help keep its temperature and not set up so quickly. Alright, so now we're going to color this portion. Put about 20 drops or so of brown. I put five drops of red. We'll see how that looks. We want a warm brown color. Spicy. I like that. It's nice. You guys see that? I'm just going to give this a stir for a minute. Now this is not per se, like I'm not going to uh, pipe this one. We're just going to wait for it to get to the right consistency. Then we're going to kind of whip it up and then kind of dollop it around the top. And then put some cinnamon uh, on top as a sprinkle. So again, we need to not pour. I'm just going to do a little over halfway. Go to the next because we need these to be fairly even. If you want to weigh them, you can. I'm not. I never do. <laughs> I'm a little bit too impatient for that. you and we'll bring you back in a few minutes. Hey guys, so we are back to, I'm doing the berry vanilla bean, adding the fragrance now. I had like barely enough. <laughs> okay. This one I think I am going to pipe it for her and then that way I can show you guys in the video how we pipe. So I am going to, as soon as this is mixed well, get another container, pour off some for the piping and then I'll color the bottom.
because I'm just going to do a little bit of piping. So I'm going to put this one away in the microwave. I did about a little over five ounces. And then we're going to color this portion purple. And I'm going to add, ooh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> Quite a bit of purple. Probably about a whole dropper full. I'll try to count the drops. I don't know how many they are. I'm not going to count them. It's about 40 drops. <laughs> Said I wasn't going to count it, but I did. Oh, this smells heavenly. See, it's nice, deep, deep purple color. see they're still completely liquid and I've been working for about about an hour so uh, I'll pause this and it may be a couple of hours or I won't pause it I'll turn it off and it may be a couple of hours before I come back if something happens and you ever let it go too far uh, like the frosting get too hard you can pop it in the microwave on a low setting you know, no more than like 15 seconds at a time. But do it, don't make sure it's not at 100%. Alright. And if something happens and you ever pour too much in one candle versus another, you can get a pipette and suck it out and put it in another one. I've done that before. Okay. So that's that. And I'm going to let these set and then we'll bring you guys back later. Guys, so I'm back to, this is the wax for these candles, and I actually have been gone several hours, and I had to pop it in the microwave for, um, on a low setting for a total of about 30 seconds, and I'm just mixing, 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 I'm going to grab you know what? I don't have a piping bag. <laughs> oh, let me see if I've got... I don't know if I have any piping stuff in my house. I don't. Well, I guess for this video we're just going to have to work on dollops. Darn it, because I don't have time to go out <laughs> That's the dog thinks it's a great grand idea to squeak her toy lots All right Now, we want to put this around the wick. If you get it on the wick, it's okay. You can easily take it off. But we want to make sure we have enough for all candles. You can go back and texture it to where it's not real smooth. 
or it's got some texture to it. Getting my finger in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like a perfect circle. I'm going to put glitter on these. Hold on. You have to wait till I get this done and then I can help you. Once it sets up, if you you know you get it on the wick, uh, once it's set, it's easy to get it off. In the back of my spoon, texturizing it. I may add more to it. Just want to make sure I have enough for all of them. Now, this one's pretty thick. As you can see, you've got time to work with it. This is be perfect piping consistency. I had a piping bag or piping tip. They're all outside and I forgot them. So, okay, I'm going to add some to this one. And maybe this one. Yeah. Yeah. Ask Daddy to make sure. And then when I put the glitter on, it'll be really pretty. Uh, no one, no. I don't want no one outside. Just cleaning up the edge of the tin and then like I can clean the wicks up right now. It's really easy. You can either use your hands or a knife or a fork. You just want to make sure it's fairly clean so they have a place to light it. And then once we add glitter to these, they're going to be so pretty. And they smell awesome. Alright, I'm going to pause you guys and get the frosting ready for the other ones and we'll be right back. Okay, so while I'm waiting for this one to sit up, I thought I'd show you the salted caramel ones. These uh, have the little candy sprinkles right here, just sitting on top. And I always take my finger, once the candle is set, and I go through, and I kind of mush them down. That way... they don't fall out. So I do that. Just gently. Press it down. 
Now I really wouldn't suggest putting any more candy sprinkles in this on the top because then you run the risk of clogging up your wick. And these will melt, obviously, when the candle's burning, but you still don't want too many. Just light press. And waiting until the candle is set before I kind of press these in here keeps the top of the candle really smooth. And I found a piping tip, so we're going to pipe the pumpkin candles for you guys. Alright, that's good. I'm going to take pictures for my customer. But as you can see, very, very much too loose. Now, the thing with piping wax is that you very much run the risk of um, blowing out your piping bag and then also it's setting up in the middle because it's too cold. So, got to be careful. Alright, I'll pause you guys when this gets thick enough. We kind of wanted the consistency this was. And then I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to pipe. Got an idea. Thinking about pi piping like three or four little dollops around the wick. Alright, alright, we'll be back. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my piping bag. I'm not 100% sure if it's ready or not. It looks pretty good. Um, it's very good, nice and thick. Um, it's, it's different when you're piping with candle wax as you have a very limited time. You have much more limited time than if you're working with soap. So let's just hope that it's a good consistency. It's not too runny, but it doesn't get too hard on me as it goes through the piping tip. I have sat here and I have stirred this off and on almost constantly. If you let it set, you'll get a crust on the outside and it won't be smooth. You need it to be smooth or you'll get those chunks will get stuck in your piping tip. You don't want that. So you need to stir it quite often so um, it stays smooth. Now, like I said, I have no idea how I'm going to pipe this. Ooh, that's very pretty. It's a little loose still. I'm trying to do it.
it's pretty great consistency, guys. Goodbye. If I have a whole lot left over, I may go and put some more, or I may not. I really like how those look, but I have some left over. Okay, I think I'll do that. Just putting four. Watch. Little dollop. You want to make a double sandwich? No. No. You of course don't want to wait. No. 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 Okay. Until it gets too stiff. But you don't want to pipe it too soon either. It's a delicate balance. You will figure it out. I promise. Um, when the smoothie is done for As long as you let it um, keep stirring it. Keep stirring it. So it's nice and smooth. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to dig out my cinnamon if I can find it in my spice rack. I need a better spice rack. Hey, that's seasoning salt. We don't need seasoning salt. We need cinnamon. Oof, I found it cinnamon. We're going to do a light sprinkle. Just like so. How pretty is that, guys? Now you guys have seen how I pipe my candles. Soap, you actually would have wanted it to set up a little bit more if you were piping soap. We weren't piping. So that is this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to put glitter on this one and then I'm done. Thanks for watching.